What's up guys? Ben Pinky's here. Uh, welcome to my week six recap. Achilles Chronicles episode 24. And we'll go over what happened last week. So I didn't get to mention last week, but there was still that deformity in my, I'm gonna show a picture of this, but. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a picture right here of what it looked like before and what it looks like now but so last week there was still that deformity like that little divot in uh, where my Achilles should be uh, or no the week before and then last week it started going away so my foot almost looks kind of normal now like the Achilles is coming back um, yeah so that's that and um, Oh, my, the atrophy of my leg is super significant now. Like, it looks like I have like, just a bone there. My calf is so small, it's so bad. But, you know, you gotta live with it and uh, hopefully I'll get back to a normal, decent sized human being looking leg soon. I was still on the highest wedge in my boot. Uh, so it put me super high up on one leg and then my regular leg was really low. Last week, I did a lot more standing than I used to. Just trying to keep pressure on the foot, making sure, you know, I'm doing a lot of activities with the foot to get it to heal a lot faster, or hopefully I'm thinking it's healing a lot faster. Still using the scooter. I still don't, I don't even use the crutches anymore. Yeah, I still use the scooter for work, workouts. That's about it. Upper body workouts, great. Lower body workouts. Uh, I showed you last week that I'm adding in that kneeling glute press. That definitely helps. Because I'm limited in the amount of leg workouts or lower body workouts I can do, I do about 10 sets of 10 doing those workouts. Then I move on to the accessory work like leg extension. Still no hamstring curls because the hamstring is connected to the uh, calf. I, and I do work out five to six times a week. Still, con uh, last week I still continue to do my PT exercises. So moving my foot uh, inwards, outwards, up and down. Then I do those about three times a day. They feel a lot easier too. So very, very normal to get my foot to move up and down, left and right. Also, when I take the boot off and I kind of relax my foot, it's a lot easier or more comfortable to move my foot around, still obviously not putting my foot on the floor or applying pressure directly on the floor without the boot. But my when I do flex my leg up, I see that it's uh, basically, it can relax at 90 degrees now, which is nice. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna tear away. So that it's an indication that my Achilles is a lot stronger. Oh, everyday activities are a lot easier. I can cook, all that stuff and even walk upstairs. So walking upstairs, no crutches, just one foot at a time so that I don't fall. Still eating at a caloric deficit because I'm still cutting, but mainly eat whole foods. So I cook a lot, not a lot of going out. A very balanced diet, so to speak. I have been taking, ever since my injury, I have been taking omega-3s once a day. I hear it helps, but I don't think it's making a difference. And then on April 23rd, this past Tuesday, I had my second physical therapy appointment. I was only there for like 20 minutes. She basically had like wanted to see if I could walk around in the boot, how I was walking around in the boot. Uh, took my boot off, then she basically felt, I'll show you. She basically felt around the Achilles area, kind of squeezed it and asked if it was sore. It was a little bit sore when she squeezed it, but other than that, not, no soreness really. Then turned me over, kind of squeezed my calf to see if it would uh, move and stuff like that. And then she gave me new workouts. Oop, oops. Uh, I'm gonna show you the workouts right now. Oh, actually, I'll show you, so I'll show you what it looked like without shoes. This is how high it is. And then with shoes on, this is the difference. And I can 
pretty much do anything I want. Walk, you know, forward, back, super easy. Show you what it looks like when I walk. Pretty much what my walking looks like. Not bad, right? Not bad. All right, now I'm gonna show you my exercises that my physical therapist gave me. And yeah, they don't allow filming inside the inside Kaiser, so I don't get to bring my camera in or at all. But this is what it looks like when I take off my boot every day. Oh yeah, and showering still have to kind of hobble in and out. No putting pressure on my foot, obviously. But excuse the hole in the sock. If you want to see what my foot looks like, there you go. You know, kind of jelly still. Super atrophied, but I can move it around. Not bad, right? And there's still that little divot there. It's not fully formed yet, but they said it will fully come back eventually. But you can see my calf is like super atrophied right now. It's so small compared to compared to this one. You see that? I mean, I mean, my calf were big to begin with, but still, this is like literally I haven't touched it in six weeks, basically. So. The exercise start, she gave me this band, rubber band or rubber resistance band thing. It's not too um, resistant, it's fairly light. I'd say like, maybe like two pounds of resistance maybe. But the first exercise, you wrap it around your foot, right, like that. Uh, probably more towards the top, towards your toes. Then put your other foot through, and then put your other foot on top of it. So like that. That way you can get resistance from this direction. And what she wants me to do, move my foot over a bit, is squeeze outwards. See that? It's like the other exercise, but now with some resistance. I'm basically doing this and all the other ones three times a week. And then switch this way. Oh, okay. Maybe put your foot on this side, add resistance, and then just squeeze this way. Idiot. Wait, yeah. Add resistance and then squeeze this way inwards so it's just like the other movements but now you're adding resistance so this is as much exercise as I pretty much get yeah. so try to pull a little more. this one's a little hard to get into position but you get the idea you get, you guys get the idea. And now I'm move on to the last one is basically a calf raise. So you gotta be careful about this one, not to pull all the way. Oh, and this reminds me, uh, while I was there, she had me press against her hand. Um, so she was checking like how strong it was. I was basically pressing my foot against her hand as hard as I could. And I was doing just fine. So. <clears throat> Here, you pull this back as you know as far as you feel is comfortable. Not not too far where you like stretch it all the way, but far enough so it's like about 90 degrees somewhere around there. And then you basically do a calf raise, squeeze. That's it. And then you can slowly add resistance, like I'm about to do right now. Squeeze. And yeah, you try to control as much as you can basically the first calf raise I've been able to do since my injury and it's not bad you can see the activation of my calf my Achilles is pretty much back right so 
So yeah, you guys get the idea. And that's week six recap. Hope you guys learned something. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keeping up with me and my Achilles Chronicles. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one. Ben Peakies.